All right. Just getting myself set up. Look at all you amazing people on nice and early. Who's out there? Can you guys hear me okay? Go ahead and uh, type in yes if you can hear me into the uh, into the chat. Just so I'm getting myself all set up. I'll look at those yeses coming in. That feels good. Hey, Dean. Hey, Nindy. Nice to have you on. Hey, David. Cool. Cool. Got a few of you already saying hello. That's really good to hear. You guys can hear me all right. Got my microphone. You can see me all right, I hope, as well. Awesome. And can you also see the screen? Can someone type in screen if they can see the screen? Hey, Katya, nice to see you. Screen as well. <laughs> Thanks, Dean. Awesome. Cool. So where's everyone calling in from? We'll be starting in just a few minutes. Uh, love to hear how far and wide this, uh, you can't wait for tonight. Yeah, same here. Same here, Glenn. Absolutely. We've got someone calling in from Germany. I knew that, Kat, yeah, but I'm glad you typed it in. <laughs> Sunshine Coast. Beautiful. I'm down in the uh, in the Gold Coast. So just, just a couple of hours down. I was up in the sunny coast yesterday in Maluba. Someone's in London. That's cool. Someone, whereabouts in the Gold Coast are you, Karen? You're in Melbourne, Dean. I hope it's not too hot down there, mate. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's seen it's been absolutely boiling. Awesome. North Gold Coast. Yeah, cool. I'm uh, I'm down in Miami. Beautiful. Beautiful. So can everyone see where to, to type in and, and everyone can see my screen and things like that? It's good to see so many of you on. Eagle Bee. That's not too far away from here, Glenn. Cool. Nice. Some people are in surfers. Got lots of people that are close to me and some that are in London and some that are in Germany, which is cool. So let me ask you, what brought you along today? What brought you along to this webinar on this day? What is it that uh, that you were hoping uh, to, to get out of it? Manifestation. That's a big word. Curiosity. Nice. <laughs> nice. Curiosity is a good thing. But what would you really like to get out of this? We're going to run a webinar. We're going to talk talk about how to live a life that you love, um, be able to really create something magical and amazing. We're going, to go, we're going to go through a lot. I'm going to talk to you a little bit about who I am, what we do. Um, cool. Yeah. How to live an FDS life. Yes. And it's it's funny. Before we get into it, I'll, I'll share a little bit about why you know this this webinar came about. It was I think it was three weeks ago now. Uh, I was walking along the beach here in the, in the Gold Coast, and it's a beautiful beach. It was, um, for those of you who, who know the area, we were down in Kingscliff. And I was walking along, and it was, a, it was a beautiful day. It was a weekday, and I was there with my wife, and she's amazing and beautiful, and I love her so much. And, and so we're there, and our two dogs are sort of playing ahead of us. Uh, our business just hit $5 million in, in annual turnover, and I was like, wow, that's pretty cool. And I'm serving more people. I'm doing more, and I and I'm living here. I'm doing these things, and I just it just kind of hit me, and I went, "Fuck yes!" I went, "Fuck yes!" And I, and I remember it so clearly now. Obviously, it was only three weeks ago, but I, but I just went there, and, and I, I got a little bit emotional. I said, "What I have now was such a dream. It was such a dream." And I thought, "Gee, I just I just want to talk about how to create not just in one area of life, but the whole thing." Who's with me? Like the whole thing, how to have a great marriage, how to have great health, how to, you know, live with purpose in the world, how to to make great money, how to have it all. You know, type type in me if you would also like to have it all, you know. And and so I'm there and, and I talked, I was talking to Harry, my wife, and I sort of said, you know, I really want to put on a training. I want to put on a, uh, a webinar. And so I wasn't sure if, you know, anyone was going to, to like it or, or whatever. So I thought, well, I'll test it and I put a bit of a post out there and I, I got like 150 people commenting on it like, fuck yes, I'd love to live an FDS life. And I'm like, wow, that's cool. And so then I put this webinar together and I think we've had over 300 people register. Uh, we only hung it out there, I think, four or five days ago. Um, and, you know, it's it, it's it's easy. Yeah, nice. Yeah, right on. Cool, cool. I'm loving all these me's coming in, which is which is good. 
And, and so, you know, it's it's so important to me to, to be sharing this today and, and how to live an FGS life because I think the riskiest investment that we could ever have is that we will sacrifice now for some future uh, point. And so I want to start off with a question. And the question is, what would you do if money was no object? What would you do if money was no object? Like today you had money, all your needs were met. What would you, what would you decide to do tomorrow? What would you be doing this week? What would you be doing this month? Please type in or write it down. What would you do if money was no object? Mm. I love it. Go traveling, building a building a business. Nice. Travel extensively. Nice. Swimming in tropical travel and volunteer. What what's that that someone says I'd quit my job and only do what sparks joy in me? Well, what is that? What is it that sparks joy in you? Create something that gives back to others. Travel the world. Live my dream speaking events. Nice. Help others become successful. Volunteer. Travel and speak globally. Nice. Volunteer. See, here's what's interesting. I've, I've spoken to over 135,000 people now uh, in 13 countries. I've asked that same question. And typically people only respond with one of two things. They either say, I'm going to look after my family or I'm going to go and travel and experience. Those are the two main things. And then I ask them, well, let's, let's say that you've done all the travel. And let's say that your family is looked after as well. What do you do next? And I want you to type in, what do you do next? You've done all the travel. Family's looked after, you looked after. What do you do next? And then this happens, what's happening to you right now? So many of you, you know, start start typing in contribution based virtuous goals. Who can see all these answers coming in? Start an arts art school, help others uh, achieve freedom, uh, developing countries, find a way to spread my message, keep helping people, volunteer healing services to terminate or travel and speak globally. Type in a yes for me if you know that every single person then decides to be of service or of contribution to the world. Type in yes. It's such a big and interesting thing for me to understand and for you to get this straight away is if you're playing full out and you've just typed that in, Whatever you've just typed in that your answer is what you'd be doing with money being no option. That's what you're supposed to be doing with your life. And any moment you're not doing the thing that you're supposed to be doing with your life, it's the riskiest decision you'll ever make because you don't get this moment back. Does that make sense? That's the, that's the riskiest thing. And, and I, I noticed this really early, and I, I want to talk you through this, but today's how to make sure that you start living that fuck yes life now. And we set ourselves up with this, this place where we think we have to wait, we have to wait, we have to wait. And so today I want to talk you through how to live an F yes life, which is a big secret. And my goal today is to show you the science and techniques you must understand to, to change your attraction point and an exact week by week process guaranteed so that you can live your life now. And I want you to look at this word now. Now stands for no opportunity wasted now. It's a process I've been developing for 10 years and I'm very grateful to be able to share it with you. So I want to talk about some laws. So we all know the law of gravity, yes? We also know that we've all flown in a plane. Therefore, gravity can exist, but it's actually superseded by lift. That means in the plane, there's still gravity, but there's a law that's bigger than it. Does that make sense? So there's a law that's bigger. Well, this is the same when it comes to hard work, okay? So hard work's like gravity. It exists. It's always going to be there. But let me ask you this question. 
how many of you know someone who worked really, really, really hard, but didn't live a fuck yes life? Who knows that to be true? They worked hard. Yeah, all of you know someone, right? So hard work is part of it, but it's not everything, true? It's superseded by something else. And so today is for you if you want to know that something else, if you're aspirational and motivated and want to get everything out of life. And so I want to start by letting you know I freaking appreciate you. Thank you for taking some time out on a Sunday. Today I'll give you a step-by-step -step plan. I will not waste your time. By the way, who likes them getting right into this? Yeah, I won't waste your time. Time is the most important thing, and thank you for investing in it with me. And, and let's, let's really invest it in this today. Is that okay for me to ask, like, be with me, I'll be here half an hour, 45 minutes, maybe an hour max, but I want to make sure that you really truly get this so you can understand this. Now, also, um, we have an amazing program that I'll talk you through, and some of you can say yes to it, some of you can say no, but I want to ask, how many of you would love to have somebody coach you, like actually be there to push you and coach you? I find a lot of people have had a business coach, or they've gone to a course, they've had this, but somebody who's in your corner to actually push you to live a fuck yes life right now with not holding back nothing else. Like how much would that be worth to you? So we have, a, we have a small availability where we can talk about our magnetic mind program and things at the end of this as well. It's absolutely, absolutely huge. Cool. So if you've ever wondered why some people break through and others don't, or if you ever said, hey, if I only had more money, then I could do this, then I could do that, then I could do this, then I could do that. Who's ever done this? Like, if then, then I'll, if then, then I'll. When I get more of this, then I'll be able to. See, this is the problem. Your emotional vibration is the biggest challenge and really your identity. So check this out. If more money equals freedom and abundance, but you live your life and not enough in scarcity, you will never be able to have the more money. Same with a relationship. If you live in a place where you're lonely and scared and lonely and scared, but a relationship, connection, support, love, but you've got the identity of lonely and scared, you're out of vibrational alignment with that which you want. Who gets that? This is a crucial understanding is what you want is how you feel. See, everything that you desire, think about any goal that you're after, there's always a way that you feel. You get a nice car, you'll feel proud. You get a bigger house, you'll, you'll feel abundant. It's always got a feeling. And this is what I really started to understand and why I'm going to go through the five-step method to manifest anything you desire, how to become limitless by using a neuroscience brain hack, and I'll also be taking you through the 13-step process you can follow to live a fuck yes life today. And I'm glad you all joined because, uh, and that you're not scared of the word fuck. So how many of you type in a fuck yes, if you would just lit, love to be living a life right now that you just scream, yes, like, yes, I've got it now because I want to type that and be here with me because I want you to know you don't actually have to wait. There is no waiting. Now, now I want to share because of the system I'm at. Two times best-selling author, I married the love of my life, I live in paradise by the beach, I get to do all sorts of things. In fact, I've spoken to audience of over 100,000 people, I'm a multi-millionaire business owner, in fact, I'm a first-generation millionaire, meaning I'm the first one in my family. But more importantly, I live a life of freedom doing what matters most to me. And that's what's so important. What matters most to me is speaking, is inspiring, is helping, is coaching. What matters most to me is having time for myself. What matters most to me is reading and learning. And that's what I do every single day. The truth is it wasn't always this way for me, okay? I'm most like you. I grew up middle class, house full of love, following society's rules, went to uni, I got a good job. But I found myself stuck in this society. Who's had this happen to them? where you're just stuck in this society where it's not really it's not really your dream who's who's with me on that who's ever had that happen it's not just me is it who's had that happen where you're like you're in society you're in this thing and you're kind of wishing you weren't because that's that's where i found myself and i just felt like i wanted more I felt like I was always chasing 
the next thing, the next thing, the next thing. Like I was a greyhound at a racetrack just chasing a plastic bunny. And every time I'd catch it, I, it's like I wouldn't believe it. And I would go after the next one and after the next one. And, and so something really amazing happened to me is I found a mentor who, who told me how to create what I wanted. He had a $3 million business and, and he showed me it became so clear. He said, you know, there's these, there's these Fs. You need to have freedom, financial fulfillment, family, fitness. And he said to me, you can have all of this, but I was so scared. I was so scared because I was used to it being one way. And I had all these rules, and I want to share some of these rules with you. I had rules like, no, I needed to, to have the right woman to feel good. No, I needed to, to have millions of dollars to do this. No, I needed this. I needed this. And he said the opposite. And this is what was so important and something I'm going to share with you today is you can create so much faster if you don't have to go through all these rules and then everything that you want shows up. And so I've got to tell you a quick story about monkeys. And a lot of you have heard this story from me before, but I want to share it. There are these five monkeys put in a cage. Scientists were watching them. They put a ladder, they opened a gate at the top, and they put food at the top. Now, of course, with food at the top, an open cage and a ladder, the first monkey climbed up to, to go get the food. What the scientists did is they then sprayed all the other monkeys with freezing cold water. Of course, if this happened, when this happened a few times, every time a monkey went to climb, all the other monkeys didn't want to get frozen with cold water, so they ran and they clawed at it, they grabbed it, they hit it, they bit on the monkey, they yelled at it, they told it off. So eventually what happened, and I want you to hear this, it's very important. They could leave the gate open at the top with a ladder and no monkey would climb. So they replaced one monkey. They left the, the gate open at the top, they, they had the ladder, they put some food there, so that new monkey was the first thing it did, is it went to climb to get the food. Now they stopped spraying with cold water. But as soon as that monkey went, all the other monkeys went and grabbed it, hit it, bit it, caught it, said, don't, you know, don't climb that ladder, that's not what we do. So eventually they replaced all the five monkeys with monkeys who had never been sprayed with the cold water. And guess what kept happening? All the monkeys, almost like revenge for when they first got beaten up, kept on telling the monkey off, kept on clawing at it if it ever went to climb that, that ladder. And then those monkeys had children and the monkeys carried on the same trait. Any monkey that went to climb the ladder, the other monkeys would run around, they'd grab it, claw it, it, pull it down, say, no, we don't do that. And I find this fascinating because it wasn't in their genes. It wasn't, they never got sprayed with the cold water. It was just this big story. It was just this big lie. And we're not that different from these monkeys, are we? See, I think we've been given this big lie. And I think this lie has been um, built into us since preschool. It says, if you get a good grade, then you should feel good. If you do this, then you feel good. No, you need to sacrifice now, and then you'll get something. I want to spend time with you, but I have to go to work. Do you guys get this? It's like this constant sacrifice now, and at some future point, we're going to have enjoyment. Even this concept of retirement, work this long, and then you're going to retire. It's like we have to sacrifice the most important thing, the most important parts of our day. Who's with me right now? Who's hearing this? It's like this story that's made up that says, no, you've got to sacrifice. You've got to sacrifice. It's like an unwritten rule, isn't it? That says we have to sacrifice for something else. We've got to make millions to do this. You've got to do something great. You've got to have lots of people follow you on Instagram or be famous or be in a good movie. You've got to do these things. But what happens is, is the lie isn't actually working out. People like Robin Williams arrive at the top of that lie going, ah, oh, I did all these things. I made all these people happy. Shouldn't I be happy? You know, they go there and they realize that they took themselves there. Write this down. Wherever you go, there you are. And so wherever you go, there you are. And so what happens is, is because of this lie, we are that greyhound on that racetrack just chasing pieces of plastic and we miss it. We freaking miss it. And that's the big thing. So I started straight away. This was my vision. I want to have a business that made 100 grand. I wanted to find my partner in crime. I was single back then. I want to have a body I was proud of. I wanted to positively change the world. And, I, and, and honestly, results are really slow because I was battling myself. What I thought is I had to have those things in order to feel good. Does this make sense? There were things I had to do to feel good. And so I'm battling myself. 
results came, but it was a war. Like I was literally fighting myself. And what happened is, is I kept on thinking that there was something wrong with me. So I went and did NLP twice. I got certified in, in Australia and then I went and did a year long certification over in the States, right? I'm a master trainer of it. I did hypnosis, success strategies, life coaching. I did everything Tony Robbins put out, money and you, matrix energetics, manifesting all possibilities, EFT, you name it, I did it. And I kept on thinking there has to be something wrong with me because I keep on doing things, but I'm still unhappy. I still didn't have what I wanted. It felt like I was unfulfilled. I was going and not getting, going and not getting. Type in a yes if you can resonate with this. Let me know if this is actually landing. Because to me, this is what happened is I just kept on. I didn't, I didn't, never got what I wanted. And I'm going to share the truth. Type in a yes if you get that. Yeah. Thanks, Maureen. Thanks, Cameron. Thanks, Katya. Thanks, Luke. Thanks, Aaron. Thanks, Christine. Thanks, David. Nice. Yeah. And so this is what really changed my life is the fastest way from A to B is to find someone who's where you want to be and have them help you. And so this is what I did. I went all in with this coach. I spent a hundred thousand dollars with this coach to work with me full time for a year. And I worked on myself every single day. And here's the first thing I realized is that all of my beliefs were unconscious. What does the word unconscious mean? It means non-conscious. It means you don't you, you don't know them. <laughs> so it means all your beliefs, everything that's creating your reality is actually sitting in the background. You're not conscious of it. And so because you're not conscious of it, you can't actually work on yourself. This means reading a personal development book doesn't really work because your beliefs are unconscious. You can't see. You're like the fish swimming in water. You can't see it. And so by having a coach, I'd point out this and point out that. By the way, if you don't have a coach, you got to have one. You just do. you got to have somebody. I have three right now. And I realized all things were created twice. I also realized structural tension, which is the missing piece. I realized that we all seek the path of least resistance. And this is where procrastination comes from. This is where, you know, putting stuff off. This is where fear, this is where everything comes from that stops us achieving is that we take the path of least resistance. And I'm going to talk to you about this. I want you to write this down because today I'm going to help you to find your number one sabotage pattern that's stopping you achieving what you want in your life. Once I found the sabotage pattern, I stopped reinforcing it. I took the right action and I was able to manifest and create. I built a four and a half million dollar company, thought life was great. I got in a movie with Tony Robbins, the Dalai Lama. I was in this big movie. I wrote the books. Everything was going fantastic. Well, so I thought, those of you who know, know in uh, March 3rd, 2016, my life fell apart. This is this was my best friend, my mentor, and his name's Mark Deason, and there's us shooting a video together, there's us in Bali, there's me dressed as a lion, <laughs> and in the top right is our last photo together. He's, unfortunately, he's the one in the box, because uh, on, on March the 3rd, he was on his scooter in Bali, and a, a truck swerved over the midline, took him out. He was wearing his helmet. He wasn't speeding. He was doing everything right. And like that, his life was gone. And it broke me. It completely broke me. Not only did my business fall apart, but I started questioning everything because we just worked our butts off to build this business and this life, but I wasn't enjoying, enjoying it. And I really realized that I had to change my thinking now. I had to. I had to live now because I realized and I was breaking. My best friend had just been killed. And I had to realize, you know, the number one thing I've got to do is I've got to live this life full out. And I know right now that, that Deese is shining his light down on this session and all of you that are here and saying, don't you fucking waste your life, you know, is we've got to live it and we've got to experience it now. And I have to find it now. We're always putting it off to something else. So I realized I had to change my thinking. Then I'm sitting there on this beautiful lake in, in South Island of New Zealand. And I pulled myself together. I knew I needed these five things. And I'm going to go through these today with you. Number one, type these in so that you own them. You must have a contribution-based vision, meaning you must have a vision that's about how you're going to serve others. You'll make the money, you'll travel the world, you'll look after your family, 
but you must start living the vision of how you're going to serve the world. Number two, you must have an aligned mind and be living in the emotion of the end result. You must be living and breathing and being the person that's in your future. Number three, you must understand structural tension. You must understand how to create the path of least resistance to be your goals. Question, what would it be like if you could set the tension structure up so that what was the easiest thing to do was to take the action that got your result? Most of us have the tension set up in our life that the easier thing to do is to eat the wrong food or to sit at home and, and watch Netflix and not do what we're supposed to do. We have the tension set up wrong. Number four, you must have the right morning meditation and visualization. You must. You must start the morning in the way that you're going to continue. And lastly, you've got to get a coach. You have to get a coach. So I want you to make sure you type these five things in. You must have a coach because you cannot see your own blind spots. That's why we call it a blind spot. You can't see where you need to work. And most importantly, you'll lie to yourself. Won't you? <laughs> you will lie to yourself. You will say that you're doing it, but you can't lie to a coach. And so I decided, and I want you to make this decision, I had to create internal success first. So I asked myself, what are some laws in nature? And I looked out and I saw this tree. And I thought, wow, look at that tree. That tree has all the potential to build a forest. I said, wow. And then I thought, well, that tree was actually created by a seed. I thought, well, if I looked at that seed, I wouldn't see anything in the seed that would prove to me that it was going to create a forest. But the seed just knew. It was created in the invisible first. There's no blueprint there that you can see. There's so much instruction, so many things going on, yet that seed knows everything, how to get the right nutrients out of the ground, turn itself into a strong tree, turn itself into a forest. Makes sense? For generations. And that's the same with us, is we create internally first. The problem is, is most of us don't understand how to use this mechanism and how to create it internally first. So I did it. I went out there. I built it back. I made a million dollars in nine months, $2.1 million in a year. Two years later, I have a, a company valued at five million bucks. I married the love of my life. I moved to the Gold Coast. And I love every single day I spend it inspiring and helping others. And that became my life because of what it is that I'm teaching you today. Now, through this, I met a billionaire. Now, this self-made billionaire invited me to speak with his friends. He said, Chris, it's all vibration, thinking, and manifestation. He looked me right in the eye and he goes, Chris, I've never seen anybody lose that much money, lose that much of their life, bounce back as quick as you have, create this and build this to a $5 million company out of debt out of this, create this life, get married. He, he said, I've never seen it happen. You have to teach what you know. No one's talking about structural tension. No one's talking about vibration thinking, and no one's understanding this. Here's what you've got to get. You must be in your future feeling now, and I want you to own this. We've got to stop thinking that something we're going to do is going to create some change. Does this make sense? There is nothing that will change you. If you, the, 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 to the amount that you can feel abundant today, the amount you can feel happy today, the amount you can feel joy and love today, that is your limit. Does that make sense? That's as much. So I want to ask you a question. If you were to look back over the last five months, six months of your life, how much did you max out those feelings? Are you like going, fuck yes, every single day, I love my life, this is epic, I'm so, I'm so in love, I feel healthy, I feel fit, I feel this, I feel so fucking good. Or are you still in that old paradigm of going, well, when I have more money, then I can blah, 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 blah. When I have the right person, when I can travel more, when I can do this, when I can quit my job, when I, when I, or are you still in that place? And I don't even need you to type it in because I know the answer. 
We got programmed our whole life to sacrifice now and that something was going to show up. External fucking validation was going to show up and then was going to change us like magic. Oh, I made a million bucks. Yeah, now I'm finally happy. No, you're not. You just have more dollars in your bank. Trust me. And it's so interesting is that we all have the same opportunity right now to live the best and biggest, most fully expressed, fuckiest version of ourselves right now. We don't have to wait for these things to show up because guess what? I promise you, they're going to happen. They're going to happen. Like, trust it. It's going to happen. You are the seed. Plant yourself in the right spot. You're going to grow into millions, have the nice cars, have the great relationship. You got. It's going to happen. But you're missing the journey. Most people I see, it's like they're speeding on a fast-moving train. And their life outside is just a blur. Oh, there was their kids. Oh, their kids are growing up now. There's this, there's this, and all they're doing is they're speeding to the next train stop, the next train stop, the next train stop, and then the last train stop is death, and their whole life was just running to the next thing, and they missed the whole fucking journey, and that's why I'm here. That's why I'm so excited to share this with you. Who's got something out of this presentation already? Because we're going to get into the how-to now, but give me some feedback. Are you enjoying this today? Is it a wake-up call? Is it what you needed to hear? Give me a quick sentence of what you've enjoyed so much out of this so far, because I want to know. This to me is just so important to understand. You're going to magically manifest all of it that you want when you get in the feeling and the identity now. This is the crucial thing. This is the crucial thing is you have to have it now. This statement is the one statement that changed everything for me. I am truly satisfied with everything I have now. And I want more of it. I'm satisfied with the amount of love that I have. And I want more of it. I'm satisfied with the amount of money I have now. And I want more of it. I'm satisfied. With my, I'm satisfied. If this is all I had, I'd be good. But I want to grow it. I want to expand it. We must let go of this old paradigm. When I did this, I made $5 million in three years. Got married to the love of my life. Moved into this beautiful house, on, what, we're five minutes walk from one of the best beaches in the whole world. Every day I go on, I serve, I do, I'm in my purpose, I'm sharing, I'm writing books, I'm doing it. And everyone thinks, oh yeah, that's because you've got the money. And the truth is, I couldn't give a shit how much is in my bank account because I already have it. I already have it. I already have the answer. It's already here. It's already me. And that's the big secret that now is the feeling. Does that make sense? Give me an F yes if you're getting this. There is literally no reason to wait. There is no reason. In fact, if you try to wait for it, it will never, ever, ever show up. You have to create it now. And most of us lie about it. Most of us go, oh, no, I do feel good. But I still will feel better with a million. Oh, I do feel good. But I'll feel better when I have the relationship. Oh, but I do. But, yeah, it's kind of, it's this, it's that. But I will feel good if I don't have my, I'm not in my job anymore. You won't. Because you're spending your life conditioning yourself this way. Imagine spending 30 years conditioning yourself to it's not enough, it's not enough, it's not enough, it's not enough. It's not something going to happen. Someone else shows up in your life. You get a relationship. No, suddenly now I'm enough. No, there'll be a short honeymoon period. And guess what? The old version of you will show up and you will then go, this relationship isn't enough and go to the next one, the next one, the next one. You'll do it everywhere. Change starts now. It happens here. This is exactly why we spend 13 weeks with people to get you in the now, to create the seed of what's going to grow. At the moment, what you're planting out there is not enough. You're about to grow a forest of it's not enough. Who's getting that? Who's getting it? I'm taking notes, Chris. I can't write it. I don't. I want to feel awesome. Nice. 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 Awesome. 
So I created this full program using neuroscience and epigenetics, and I wanted to, to prove it. Okay, so I, I went and studied neuroplasticity, brain plasticity. I had a look at it all and understood how the brain changes. Okay, and and the thing is, is that you can shift and change. And that if you don't use something, you're going to lose it. So if you don't use your anxiety, if you don't lose your scarcity, if you don't lose use it, you will lose it. And so what we do is we must stop using all these things that don't serve us and we must step into who we're being now. It doesn't show up until you show up. If you want it to come to be, you must become it. Everything happens now. It's who you are. All your results in your life are a direct reflection of your internal. And that is just the truth. The reflection of how you feel inside is, is staring at the face in your life. Here's how a brain changes. This is the this is a close-up view of the brain, okay? And I want you to see this is an electrical impulse. We're going to zoom in on a second. But this is how quickly your brain actually ma manifests and shifts. So this is an electrical chemical uh, brain right here, okay? Here's two neurons. This is a close-up of this person learning piano, and they're about to get it, okay? So I want you to see. It's connect. Can you guys see my mouse, by the way? Someone just type in a yes if you can see my, my mouse. Yeah, you can? Yeah, cool. So you're going to see over here things changing and connecting and over here things changing and connecting, okay? And this is massive. So they're learning how to play the piano. So all these things, and then you zoom in, and it actually connects up like that. Let me show you it again. This is it actually connecting. There, they just got the aha moment. This is literally what's happening inside of your brain right now I'll show you it again this is literally what's going on as you're learning your brain is actually recoding and rewiring who thinks that's pretty incredible by the way who's seen the most of you have seen this video before but this is actually the brain recoding and rewiring and becoming something new and to me that's absolutely huge it is so awesome right yeah so cool and so this is what you've got to understand is, is once you realize that your brain can change, you've got to stop being the old you. You've got to stop being the old you. You've got to. You've got to stop that person like right now. So I'm going to ask you a question. Who's ready for version 2.0 of you? If you are, type in the number two. Who's ready to shift to the next version of you? Say, thank you so much, old me. You got me to here, but I'm ready to be someone new. I'm ready to live in abundance. I'm ready to feel successful. I'm ready to have all these things now because you got to do that. And then we've got to condition and hold ourselves to this new identity. You literally, you cannot create from that old way. And so here's what you got to understand is that your natural conflicts will stop you. The old version of you is proven and safe. And so it's going to hold you back. Just like the family of monkeys, it's going to pull you back. Your future is unsafe. It's unproven. And so we want to do some work. Who's ready to do some work? I want you to find your sabotage pattern today. See, if you're trying to manifest and create based off a place of feeling incomplete, where the heck is the power? Let me explain. If you're saying, I'm not abundant, and if I make this money, then I'm going to feel abundant. Where is the power? Is it inside of you or is it in the external? It's in the external. I feel lonely when I have a relationship, then I'm going to feel great. Where's the power? It's external. I'm stuck in my job. When I'm out of my job, then I'll feel great. Where is the power? External. You do not have a true goal unless you're already living the feeling. See, if you're in a job right now, stop trying to get out of the job. Find ways to love your job. If you're single right now, stop trying to get out of being single. Find ways to fall in love with yourself. If you want to make more money, you don't have enough money right now, find ways to feel fucking abundant right now. That's the key. The key is finding ways to feel it now so that you teach yourself to be in emotional alignment with the way that you're being. So we're going to do some work, okay? So the first question I have for you is, and I want you to type it in, what is your future goal? What is your future goal? I want you to write it down or type it in. If, you just, if you're writing it down on your own piece of paper, 
I just want you to give me a, a Y or a yes when you've done it. If you're typing it in here, that's good. What's your future goal? What is your end point? What is your point B? Just give me a yes if you've written down your own piece of paper or type it in if you're typing it in. I need either a yes or you typing it in from everyone. There we go. Publish my book, grow my health and wealth business. Nice. Million dollar coach speaker. Get my company up and running. Speaking, assist people to de-stress. Women's retreat. Oh, that's interesting. Cool. All right. So my question is, how would it feel to be in that reality now? How would it feel to be in that? Type in, let me know, how would it actually feel to be in that reality? Everyone's writing, so awesome. <laughs> it would be awesome. How would it feel? Other than awesome, how would it feel? Explain how it would feel. Amazing, successful digital marketer. Nice, yeah, man, and you will. You're in the right place. Feel like a fuck yes life. Nice, content, beautiful. Nice. It's so good we've got a, a group of people that don't mind swearing. <laughs> it's good for me anyway. You can't sort of be it. You can't sort of be standing up and sitting down. You can't sort of be pregnant. You either are, you're not. There's no sorta. Of. All right, so compared to that, what is your reality now? So compared to that, what is your reality now? And type it in or write a yes if you've written it down. What is your reality compared to that now? <laughs> yes, you are. I've got one of one of my coaches just typed, I am living my fuck yes life now. I'm like, that's why you're on the team. <laughs> cool. So how does it feel in life now compared to where you want to be? And just be real. I can't catch everyone, so don't worry. You're just typing in mainly for you. Holding off, waiting. It sucks, all right, fair enough. Early stages. So it feels like I'm waiting. If someone says I'm in early stages, they would mean like I'm waiting, like, like I think something is happening, yep. I'm in a holding pattern. Nice, cool. Awesome. So we're going to do a little closed eye exercise to get the, the answer to the third question. It takes about a minute. Okay. What we're going to do is we're going to go into your future goal. We're going to live it. So you need to put your pens down, your phones down, computer. Just, just be ready to do a quick closed exercise. Don't do it if you're driving. You need, you need your eyes open for driving, so you have to come back to it. So just pens down. Be with me right now. That's it. Cool. So I want you to close your eyes. And step into your future self right now, into your future goal. And as you step into it, how does it feel to be this person? What's it like being this person? Just feel that. And now from here, doesn't it feel good, by the way? Now from here, I want you to turn around in time and space, keep your eyes closed, and look back to your current reality. What was the obvious next step that you had to take? If you go back, think back to that current reality, what was the next step that that person had to take? When you've got the answer, open your eyes and write it in. What was the obvious next step that old version of you had to take?
When you've got it, open your eyes and write it in. What is the obvious next step that person had to take? Cool. Quit my job, get my website up, take a step forward and smile. Beautiful. Type it in. Let go. Let go of questioning why it wasn't happening. Train my body for more endurance. Take action. Opening something. Just do it. Letting go of fear. Give up events and festivals. Complete the certification. Yep. Stop asking for validation. Overcome addictive habits. You can't currently be doing the next step because that would mean that that's your current reality. So if, if you've said I'm currently doing the next step, I want you to realize that I'm looking for the next step, not your current reality. But I understand that you're in the middle of something, but I want to understand the next step. It's just important. Just trust me. The next page is going to make sense. So if you wrote that, I think it's Glenn, just, just go back in, go back into your future and ask, well, what's the next step after that? Cool. Someone's, Maria's trying to move ahead first. <laughs> We're not there yet. I've got another page coming. All right, cool. <laughs> All right. So if that's the correct and obvious action, let me ask you, when you look at that action, have you known that that's the action you need to take for a while? Have you seen that you go, well, yeah, I know I need to do that. That's something I've needed to know for a while. Or is this something that you, you know, you've never seen before? In my experience, most people know the action that they need to take. Right? Just type in a yes if it's true. Like you kind of knew I've known for a long time. Yeah. Yep, I knew. Yeah. All of you are writing, yes, yes, I've known. Okay, so most of us know the action. First off, I want you to appreciate that we actually know the action, right? We know it. True? Ah, cool, cool. That's because you've been doing some work with us, Luke. So let's really dig into why you haven't taken that action. So my first question is what are the reservations or stories that you tell yourself about that action. Just type them in. Like, how do you reserve? Well, I know I need to quit my job, but what if I don't have enough money? What if I fail? What if it doesn't work out? Like, can I really do it? Um, I don't even know if this business will work. I want to get into a great relationship. I need to go out dating, but but you know, what if I you know get let down again? I always get the wrong guys. What are your reservations? Just type them in. Tell me the stories or reservations you have about that next step. If you're not typing them in, just type in a yes when I know you've got it. Just type in your reservations or stories about that step. There we go. Feel a failure. Keep. Nice. I'll break my pro. I'll, I won't succeed again. Awesome. Will people pay? I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. People will judge me. Who am I to do this? You'll probably screw it up. You're not even good. Yeah, nice. Money problems. Awesome. 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 Cool. So number two, what are your judgment of yourself and others when it comes to taking this step? I don't think I'm able to lead. Fear of success. Yeah, and I, thanks, guys. Thanks for all playing full out. This is fantastic. So what are your judgments? How do you judge yourself? I'm not good at this, or the others won't, won't like this. The world doesn't like this. How do you judge this? How do you make decisions about what's going to happen? How do you judge it? I'm not deserving. Fear talking to people. I feel like a fraud. Yeah. Others will talk bad about me. I'm not good enough. 
Will it even work? I judge. So I even judge the business or I judge the relationship. Sometimes I judge the other person. I judge whether I can actually stick to my weight loss goals. I judge myself. How dare I? Like, who do I think I am to be successful? Yeah. Will it be well received? Yeah. I'm judging others. I'm judging them to say that they're going to judge me. Get told I'm a scam. Yeah. What if I actually nail this? What would I do with all this money? Yeah. I judge my capability. Awesome. Next question is, what are your inner conflicts? What are your inner conflicts? So how are you conflicted about this next step? So part of me wants to do this. Part of me just goes, screw it. I'm, life is good enough. I've got a job. Like, what are you, how do you, how are you conflicted about this? Part of me just wants to go make it happen. Part of me hates sales. So start off by saying part of me and then part of me. So part of me wants this. Part of me wants that. Part of me knows I'm good. Part of me completely doubts. Part of me is overwhelmed. Part of me just knows it works. Part of me thinks it won't work. Part of me does. Part of me wants to be successful. Part of me just wants to sit on the couch and eat Doritos watching Netflix. Part of me wants to be a successful speaker and thought leader. But part of me thinks that I don't know anything and will make a fool of myself. Cool. So what are your inner conflicts around this? I just want you to just go with these three questions. What are your reservations? What are your judgments? And what are your inner conflicts? And just, just write them in or type in a yes when you think you've done. Because the next question is going to help you understand how you sabotage yourself massively. Just type in a yes when you feel like you're done. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. All right, beautiful. So here's here's what happens, okay? And we'll, we'll just break this down. We'll go we'll go back a we'll go back a step, okay? We've got this goal, we've got a current reality. Then we've got an obvious next action. But then we have all this stuff, we have inner conflicts, judgments and reservations about taking that action. So here's the multi-million dollar fuck yes life question. How do you resolve this tension? So the tension is you've got this action to take, but you've got all this stuff about taking the action. So instead of taking the action, what do you do? Instead of taking the action, what do you do? Some of you freeze and do nothing. Some of you go to read more books. Some of you feel like there's something wrong with you and have to go seek out a healer or a guru. Some of you just jump from it next to next to next to next to next. Some of you just talk and talk and talk about it. But you tell me, what do you do? How do you resolve this tension that there's a thing you need to do, but you've got all this stuff around and what do you do instead of doing it? Type it in. Thanks, Lucy. Thanks, Cameron. Thanks, Katya. Thanks, David. Thanks, Tracy. I put myself down, watch Netflix. I ask other people for advice. I procrastinate and be busy with other stuff. Avoid it. Over plan instead of actually taking action. I read more books, try to learn more and tell myself that I'll do it another day. If you keep reading books, your identity is someone who doesn't know enough. If you keep searching out advice, your identity is that you don't have enough. If you keep on going and asking other people without taking the action, every single one of those is the sabotage pattern that's holding you still. Read more, learn more. Eat chocolate, chill out, do the opposite. Nice. Go searching for more information. I drop into more self-doubt, waste my time on Facebook, listen to abusive family members, and then do something else. Feel unmotivated. I don't go full out. There's one. I don't go full out, so I'm protected from failing. Nice. So how do you resolve the tension? This is your common thing. I'll tell you mine. 
what I do is I start so many different things. So I used to start so many little things that I didn't just focus on just one thing. I'd have so many balls in the air. Another thing is I always thought I was broken. So I'd always go and try to heal myself and all these other things. And then another thing is I've got a, a bookshelf of over 800 books. I'd read book after book. I didn't know enough. I'd do all of these things. Instead of just fucking doing the thing I'm supposed to do, that would lead me to the life that I that I want to I want to create. Run the other way. Type in a yes if you're seeing something and you got way more out of this session than you thought you would. Give me a big yes or an F yes if you like. Because that is the truth. That is the truth about what it is that you need to move through. Right, right on. I know that. Someone just wrote, I, I always am just on watching webinars, watching other people be successful. I never do it myself. So here's the patterns, okay? This is what's sitting behind every single thing you've just said. The first, and type these in or write them down. The first big, big pattern that stops us is we, we're in a cycle of being unworthy. So instead of taking the action that leads us to success, we take action that's in alignment with someone who's unworthy. So oh, I'm not worthy of that, so I'll just eat chocolate. I'm not worthy of that, so I'll do this. I'm not worthy, so I'm going to... The next one is I'm not good enough. I need books. I need healing. I need all these other things. The next one is I don't belong. So I'm not going to do that because people are going to judge me. So instead, I'm just going to hang out with my friends and family because I'm so worried about not belonging. The next pattern is I'm insignificant or I'm invisible. So I can't possibly be seen and be big and be powerless because my wound, my sabotage pattern is I'm invisible. The next one is I don't have the capacity. So I'm not smart enough. That's going to overwhelm me. It's too much. I can't do it all. So instead, I'm not, I'm going to shrink. I'm going to freeze. I'm going to do other things. And the last one is I need to be perfect. So I've got to be perfect. It's not right. I've got to plan it better. I need to be perfect. It needs to be right. I can't make a mistake. Now, we all have one or two core patterns that are basically keeping us small and keeping us held in a certain place. And these are them. And the truth is, is there's people on this call going, holy crap, this is good information. I need to know more about this. Then there's people on here that are in the, I'm not good enough. Wow, Chris, how do I heal these? Others are going, oh my God, like the, you're literally inside your pattern. So here's the truth is you must step forward into who you're being. By the way, is it good to see those things? You must step forward and you must get into your future self now. You must have a true goal. The only way you can have a true goal is when you're in the feeling now not just trying to resolve a way you feel incomplete. Because every single one of those things I just showed you was a way that you feel incomplete. True? So I really want you to see that either the action is there for you because you're doing the right action with the true goal, or you're doing it because of a way that you feel incomplete. And so this is absolutely huge. Huge. And when you truly understand it and realize that your, your goal is to get into the feeling of your end result now, stay in that, act from that, and then have someone call you on your shit so that you're living your FDS life now, that's when you get it. Does that make sense? You must be in it now. Stop thinking you're broken. You're not broken. Stop thinking you don't know enough. You do. Stop thinking it needs to be perfect. It doesn't. Stop trying to please people just because you grew up with them and create a new life, a new group. Stop feeling like you have to be insignificant. You don't. There's a story of elephants. <laughs> for just for another animal story, I'll throw it in. When an elephant is small, it can be tied with a little stake in the ground a little rope, and you can hold the elephant by this little stake in the sewer, and it will pull and pull and pull. But when it's a small elephant, a baby, it can't pull away. So it pulls this little rope, this little stake, can't get away. So it gives up. The elephant grows bigger and bigger and bigger. But guess what? It always keeps the same belief that it can't pull this little stake out of the ground. So you see this huge, amazing, big elephant, huge, powerful and you can tie it up with a little stake and a little piece of rope and hold it in one spot. 
See, the point is, is that what held you back in the past does not belong in your future. What stopped you when you were four years old, seven years old, 16 years old, 20 years old, whatever stopped you in the past? Maybe you weren't strong enough then. Maybe it was true then. But what the heck does that have to do with now? You're strong now. You're an adult now. You're able to create now. And we've got to drop that. We're just being held by things that just stopped us in the past. We need to put that down and step into our true, powerful, authentic self and authentic life now. Who's with me with that? It is so crucial for you to understand. So crucial. Is my screen back on now? So here's the mistakes we make. We try to avoid failure. We take advice from broke people. We think something external will make an internal difference. Here's the first thing that you must get over. When you work with one of my team, we'll get you clear on what you really want instead of you just focusing on what you don't want. We'll get you to stop being stuck in a limiting pattern. We'll have you live for you first, you first, your family second, because we need an overflowing cup so that you're the example. We'll make sure that you actually have shifted core beliefs. We'll stop you thinking, hey, where's the proof of my, my, my success in my past? We always, always move you out of your past and into your future because the truth is your friends are holding you small. It's time for a new group of friends. The truth is, is you must get in an emotional alignment and it doesn't happen in a day. It doesn't happen in a weekend. It doesn't happen by reading a book. It happens by having a daily practice to get in the right emotion of what you want. You can't be wanting to be rich with money and have problems with people who are flashy and rich. It just doesn't work. Your brain doesn't know whether flashy rich people are dickheads or flashy rich people are awesome. You must get in the right emotional alignment and you must have the right mentors who are exactly where you are. And so the truth is 64% of billionaires are self-made. So I don't care where you are in life, they're just like us. And not just billionaires, lots of people, but who knows JK Rowling? Amazing woman, amazing. Single mom didn't have money, created it. Mark Cuban, billionaire, created himself. Albert Einstein, not a billionaire, but he made a massive difference on the planet, created it himself. Jim Carrey, another amazing guy. Steven Spielberg, another amazing guy. Oprah, you know, these, pe these people created it themselves. So who here needs to be self-made? Type in self-made if you're ready to be self-made and create your FBS life. Jay-Z. These people created it now. They didn't wait. And so people say to me all the time, Chris, I don't have the time. The truth is once you set this up in the right way, it only takes 30 minutes a day. Sometimes you say I have problems sticking to things. I know. That's exactly why you need this program. You will stick to things that you need to stick to. And so the truth is you must make up your mind about what it is you want. Your past is going to limit you. Your past is full of employee mentors, people who put stuff off, bad money mindsets, limitations. And the truth is, your past is just safer. So here's how to do it. Number one, and type these in. Number one, you must decide. You must decide right now to live an FES life now. Number two, you must create it with perfect completion. And then every day we do a neuro emotional embed into your mind to start creating exactly what it is you want to create. So here's how it works. Okay, we do this thing called lenses together. I'll explain it. We decide on your year goal, your 90 day, your 30 day, your one week. We decide on the next milestones towards your life. We then get you to see it in your mind's eye every single day so that you can then emotionally embed it. We have 13 processes that disconnect you from your past and connect you into your future. And it is so crucial to go through this because you must change beliefs, family entanglements, limiting emotions, unconscious desires, worthiness, conflicted parts, cognitive dissonance, all of that stuff. Guys, all of that stuff you put out to me just before, all of that needs to shift, all of that needs to change. It all needs to change. So many people think they can't change. 
The truth is, you're not that special. This is how a brain works. You're not that special. Right now, when you have an aha moment, you're changing. The problem is, guys, there's this industry that says, hey, you can change in two days. You just can't. It takes 13 weeks. It takes you getting called on your shit. You need to have a coach. That's it's just what it takes. It's not, it's not slow. It's not fast. It's slow. It's 13 weeks. It takes 90 days. You know, it doesn't matter where you are or how talented you are. It's just whether or not you're willing to make it happen. And so this is the real truth. And I want to just really get this before we shift into talking about the program. The truth is. In order to learn anything, you need neural pathways. And so you have the ability to learn. The person that you think you are is just a learned identity. You simply just have to learn a new way of being. Who likes that, by the way? You simply just have to learn a new way of being right now. Right? Who likes that? Type in an F, yeah, if you really get that. It's just learning something new. It's huge. And so this is the answer, guys. The answer is that you've got to step into this future, let go of who you've been, and then start doing it. This is how we did it. So if it's okay, how many of you guys have enjoyed today so far? Give me a yes if you do and have enjoyed this because I'm now going to take you through the, uh, the program. So we have an amazing program, but let me know if you enjoyed today. And if you don't want to hear about our 13-week program and, and how you can get coaching from me and our team, then you, know, you don't have to stay on. But if you do want to hear about it, stick around. I'm going to explain it. There is an offer. You can buy it. You can get coaching from us, or you can say no, and it's totally cool. So have you guys enjoyed today? Good. Good. So we have this program. It's called the Magnetic Mind Masterclass, okay? And what it does is it gets you into your magnetic moment. It gets you into where you want to be. It's anyone wanting to magnetically create their fuck yes life. You get a full online university, okay? This university, if you started today and you put in four hours a day, you could keep going for a month. There's over 100 hours of stuff that you can go through. Anyone wanting to magnetically create their future, you can go through it now. Plus, there's a 12-week program that takes you step-by-step step from surviving through to thriving. It's anyone wanting to magnetically create it. Okay, so here's how we do it. The first thing we do with you is we sit down, write this in please, mission, vision, values. We sit down with you, we understand your mission, we get your vision and we craft your values. This is step one, type it in, mission, vision, values. That is the first thing that we'll do with you because until you're clear on what it is that you want, until you're clear on what you want, then you can never start moving towards it. Type in mission, vision, values. Number two, we ask you six unconscious unpacking questions. There's these six questions. I gave you a glimpse of them today that helps you pull stuff out of your brain and bring it forward. Quick question, through that little short exercise that we did, how many of you got to see something about yourself that you didn't know before? Oh, wow, that's why I'm stopping myself. Type in a yes if that happened to you. Every week we do that. We want to keep pulling out and pulling out what's stopping you so then you can shift it and change it. Who saw something like that? Yeah. Nice. Number three, we create internal leverage. So we help you to choose what you want. There are 11 change patterns and three core scripts that we go through. These have taken me the best part of a decade and a half to, to go through all of these courses and figure out just what works. Then we have an emotional conditioning procedure that gets you into your new identity. Make sense? Cool. Quick question. Who likes the sound of this program already? Yeah, because you also get weekly coaching. Okay, so we have two choices. You can either do it in a group that's just with me and a bunch of people. And I take you through the whole process. It's three months. It's awesome. Or... You go through one-on-one -on -one with one of my hand-picked, highly trained, certified people who are already living an FPS life, and they kick your butt every single week. So quick question, who would like the one-on-one, -on -one? type in a one, and who would like a group, type in two. So let me just open up and have a look at the full 
um, process here. Actually, I'm going to go straight to the uh, to the page. I'm going to go straight to the page here. Cool. So let me open this up so I can show it to you guys. This is the this is the full program. Okay. It's the Magnetic Mind Masterclass. It's how to shift your identity, pull on your future, and become a magnet for all you desire. We've only got a space for a few people, and it's for people that want to live their F yes life right now. And so here's the problem, okay? We have to shift your emotions. We have to shift your identity. We have to shift your, I'm going to do it all myself and not get support. We have to shift the fact that you're too busy, and we have to shift your support network. That's me. You guys have already learned about me. So here's exactly what's what's in the program. And I'm going to send you guys this link and you can make the decision yourself whether it's for you. OK, the, the, the program's absolutely awesome. OK, here's what's involved. There's either a one on one choice or a group choice. OK, there's a full online university in both of them. In both of them, there is weekly training with me for 90 days. You jump on a call like this, we go deep, we do meditations, we do live things. It's freaking awesome. Oh, by the way, here's how, here's what the online uh, course looks like. So there's all of these, and you just can click into here, and all the weekly trainings are just sitting in here. They can go through. Then you can click back out. That's eight weeks sitting in there. There's a full meditation hub in here. And this just goes forever of meditations. There's pages and pages of meditations. You click back out. There's lots of foundations. There's other trainings. There's uh, business clarity stuff in here. And I'm adding new things every single week. So that, by the way, that's the uh, that's how the online portal looks. There is a one-on-one -on -one session that you get with one of my team to create your mission, vision, and values. Then there's also a second whole training with just one of my coaches, not me. So the total value for the group is 7,600. Now, if you choose to do one-on-one, -on -one, you also get weekly accountability with a fast track coach. Plus you get two recode sessions with your coach every single month. The total value is $11,800. And so you can book your spot to this. I've got a special offer for you today. But I want to go through the exact weeks. By the way, let me ask you guys, if, if money was no object, how many of you would love to just be in this program? Who would love it? I can see the light. I think so, Luke. Yeah, nice. Because we have some absolutely, uh, you know, Awesome payment plans and awesome things for everyone. But I just want to ask, if money was no object, who would do it? Yeah, good. So here's the weeks. Week one, your macro, micro lenses. We get your big pitch, we break it down. Week two, we create your new identity. Week three, we create internal emotional transmutation. This is a huge week, by the way. After we create your identity, we start building it. Week four, we do perceptual shift. How to actually change how you see the world. The world changes when you change how you see it. Week five, we crush procrastination and create inner fire. This is where we start to really get you fired up and get rid of anything that's stopping you. Week six, we get rid of any emotions that are keeping you stuck. Week seven, we dissolve all those inner conflicts. Week eight, we go through the quantum change process. Week nine, we clear all your constraints. Week 10, high vibe leading. Week 11, the matrix, two point and double bubble. Week 12, family entanglements. It's a huge 13 weeks. By the way, there's some massive bonuses. I give you a message to market program, uh, an effective entrepreneur program, because I know a lot of you are entrepreneurs, and, and do some awesome things. So the whole training is worth a lot. Okay. Now, the group thing, the group session, instead of the full price, which would actually cost $13.6, if you're on this training today, it's just $1997 plus GST. That is that is two grand. And, and when I say that, that's two grand for three months of full training with me, the meditations and everything. And by the way, we have payment plans and everything else for you. In fact, there's the link. I'll send it to you now. The one-on-one -on -one is huge. And the truth is, is even with everything else, the one-on-one's only $1,000 more for the three months. And so my question to you is, is where would you be in three months of working with us and our team? Because if it's true, you'll click on this link, okay? Then you'll click to book your spot. You can't buy this. All you can do is to book in your call. 
So you put in your phone number in here, you put your name there, and then you'll choose whether you want to talk to us about one-on-one -on -one or group, and you book a time to talk with us. Like there's nothing to buy today. You can't buy it. We have to make sure you're the right person, okay? So my question to you is this, is where could you be in 13 weeks if you had somebody going deep with this daily meditations, a full reprogramming system, a call with me once a week, a call with one of my team once a week, maybe you choose the one-on-one -on -one option, where would you be if you did all of that? Yeah, you'd be in a much better place, a new me on the way to freedom. So guys, we have payment terms and payment plans and I think you guys can get on this at little as like 50 bucks a week or something. It's incredible, especially if you're in Australia. So do not let money hold you back. Guys, you can make three grand back in an instant, but what you can't get back is your time. What you can't get back is your time. What you can't get back is actually finding your, your new tribe. And so my question to all of you is who's gonna get a phone call? I want you to type in in big capital letters, call. And I also, there you go, so type in call if you want to get a phone call and to talk more about this program and consider joining because, you know, if that's you, we would absolutely love to have you with open arms. We can't take that many people on and that's just because of the amount of staff we have. We simply don't have the space to take too many of you on. And so here's, here's what I want you to, to type in. Yeah, nice. Cool. Bear, Bear, someone just typed in Bear O'Clock. I don't, have no idea what that means. So there's the there's the link. Click click that if you want to to get a call and to talk about this program. You click on the link. You'll go to that exact page I was just showing you. Nice. Here you go, Maureen. You'll click click on this link if you can. Go in there and then book. Just click on it and put your phone number in. It'd be much easier. Um, but I'm also I'm also looking at it. Someone's off to have a beer. I'm glad. Go live your life, mate. Have a beer. Sounds sounds great. <laughs> sounds great. Yeah, good question. So it starts straight away. It starts straight away. We start moving you. Here's how this is different, guys. Here's how this is different. We've taken all the spiritual laws of money plus action, plus you get access to someone who runs a big company living a big life. You get access to me, it's live, it's direct. You talk to me, there's only ever about 30 people on the call, you're with me all the time. Plus you get another session once a week with one of my coaches group, plus you get a whole recording, library, university, everything like that. You get everything, you keep it forever, you're in there for three months, we take it through with you as quick as possible. This is what's missing for most people. It's who they are internally, is what's missing more than anything. True, that's true. And when you change now, everything shows up. And so my question is, is, who would you be with a coach? Who would you be if you had this? Who would you be? How fast could you move if you had someone on you? Because here's what's gonna happen, is if you leave this and you don't have someone on you, do you know what you've been doing? Look at your past. You're gonna keep playing your same sabotage pattern out, aren't you? aren't you? Be true with yourself for a moment, is if you look at your past, you need someone on you so you don't keep on just putting it off, going another way, saying that you're broken, doing this, doing that. You need someone on you saying, take action. Take action. Oh, it's this. Okay, let's do a process. Let's clear this. Now take action. Did you take action? Yes or no? No, let's clear it. Take action. Let's clear it. Take action. Until you're this person and you're acting like them. Does that make sense? You have to to be in this. If you're on here, you want to create a great life, maybe you're in one of my other programs, fantastic. This is the thing that makes sure that everything else works. If you've got the strategy from Amplify, if you've got the strategy in the digital marketing certification, if you've got another strategy, if you're in a if you're in another business and you know the strategy, the only person that's going to get your results and stop you is the one that's looking at you in the mirror. And we've got to shift that. And so, you know, I want to be stern with you and say that. I want to say, don't make decisions based on who you've been. Make them on who you're becoming. Step into this and make it happen. So, <laughs> it's real and worth so much more. Thanks, Deb. It's Grace. Bit, it's the best ever. Thanks, Tracy. Makes sense. Thank you.
<laughs> awesome. So my question to all of you guys, did you enjoy the webinar today? Did you enjoy the session? Yeah. Nice. Guys, I wanna, I wanna finish by just saying how much I care about you. Um, I know I was stern. Uh, I know I know I was stern. I know I want you in here. And it, and it comes from that place where I, I can see the potential in most people I talk to, especially most people who are attracted to a message like this. And, and the truth is, is there's lots of conflicting information out there. You know, I see, I see people uh, talking about, oh yeah, you just sit back and manifest and activate your DNA or some rubbish. Yet they are posting on Facebook and taking all this action, which is in direct conflict to what it is that they say. And then I see others that just say, set big goals, set big goals. You're not good enough and just set massive goals and go for it. And, and all that does is reinforce that you're not, you're not there yet. And you never get there. And, and I've fallen into both those traps. And then there's another group of people that say, oh, you just need to do healings and healings and healings. And the, the truth is, is when you start pulling on the, I need to do healings, you wake up and all you've been doing is healings for the last 40 years, you know? And, and so the truth is, is that what we've discovered and found is if you want to create real success, it's about getting in it now, taking the action of your future self and aligning your emotions. And when you do it, holy moly you will walk out of your old life and into your new one and it will it will surprise you you won't even see it you'll be so used to it because you've been conditioning it and taking the action it happened i turned around i made five million bucks that's four hundred thousand dollars a month love of my life married to her living here and and i you know in my heart i'm still just this 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 guy who was reading the books, going to seminars, trying to make it happen. And it just shows up. You're like, wow. And I'll uh, be so blessed and honored to be a coach. And I know our team would be as well. So last chance, here's the link. You can't buy it. All you can do is get on a call. We can talk you through the payment options. We can talk you through to, to how it works. Uh, you can make it happen. Uh, whoever the person is that keeps asking me to go out for a beer, uh, I just, just can you stop doing that? <laughs> awesome. Cool. Nice. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Cool. All booked. Nice. All right, guys. I love you all so much. Have an absolutely amazing rest of your Sunday. Live your FPS life. If you got nothing else from this, here's what I want you to here's what I want you to get is live it now. Live it now, go for it, be it, own it, take massive action. If I get to serve you in my programs, it will be a blessing. And if I know that I got to, to make a, a difference to you just because you're on here, that's good as well. So thank you for spending some time with me. I hope it was valuable. Uh, I hope that you got a lot out of it. And I look forward to just seeing your success. Have an absolutely amazing evening, day, good night, morning, Sunday, whatever it is. And uh, I'll talk to you soon.